Hey everyone, it's bittersweet, but I did end up selling my 2018 Model 3 Long Range and got myself a Model X. Uh, so I thought I would make a video just to conclude my experience having that car for the last three years or so. You know, how much I bought it for, how much I sold it for, and just share some insights um, that might be helpful if you're looking at selling a Model 3 or maybe buying a used one or buying a new one. So yeah, uh, let's begin. So I'm going to try to show you as many receipts as possible throughout the three years of owning the Model 3. Um, shows you like the maintenance, uh, how much it depreciated, and gives you a reference point. Because I know I was wondering similar things when I was selling my car, and hopefully this gives you some insights. So before I tell you how much I sold it for, we have to bring it all the way back to June 2018 when I took delivery of the Model 3 Long Range. Um, I was amongst the first people in Canada to get the 3, so that was nice, but also scary at the same time because no one really had the car for that long yet. Alright, so I'm throwing up the purchase agreement on the screen now, and as you can see, I paid 66700 for the Model 3 Long Range. Uh, and remember, this is a rear-wheel drive model back in the day. And now you can pretty much pay the same thing and get a all-wheel drive long range. In my province of Alberta, we also did not get any incentives back in the day for the Model 3. So that is literally the price I paid for it. You can also see that I paid 1300 for white paint, whereas now you get it for free. Also, the car doesn't come with autopilot standards. So like when I bought it, it had nothing. There were some perks though back in the day with the referral program still giving out prizes, I was able to get a wall charger and also a set of uh, zero-g wheels, uh, which is super awesome. There was also this one week where Elon Musk decided to tweet out that he was doing a sale on Autopilot and FSD for current owners, and I jumped on it right away. So I paid 2,600 for Autopilot and another 4,000 for FSD. So altogether, I pretty much paid 73,300 Canadian dollars uh, to own the car. And so now you might be wondering, what about maintenance? Well, I pretty much didn't have any. So I guess let me explain how much did I really spend on owning the car. Because in year one, I had an actuator issue with my front trunk and I got that fixed under the warranty. Um, in year two, I actually had a bigger issue where my car wouldn't charge and I had to tow it all the way back to the service center. And that was fixed under the warranty with a, it was like a harness issue. Uh, that's what they told me. And while I was there, I got my FSD upgrade and also did air filter replacements and also did brake maintenance. Um, so that's really pretty much like all the maintenance I did is the air filters and the brakes. Um, in year three, I had an issue with uh, upper arm where it was doing the squeaky noises. That's like actually a pretty common issue with Model 3s, uh, especially if you search on the forums. Um, but pretty much the three years I've owned it, those were the issues I had and most of them were like pretty quick fixes except for the year two issue with the harness where I actually had to tow the car. Um, but I would say that one's pretty uncommon. The service center did pay for the tow, so that was nice, I guess. For charging, I pretty much just charged at home or did it at a supercharger since I still had like free supercharging credits left. Overall, it was a really good car to maintain. I didn't have any major issues with it. I'm super satisfied and it's such a good car to me. So now everybody asks me, why did you sell it then? Um, there's a couple of reasons. The uh, first one is I just really wanted an X and I also wanted white seats, which wasn't an option back in 2018 on the Model 3. Second reason is the warranty was ending in a year or so. So I thought, sell it when it still has warranty, then I probably have a better time, an easier time selling the car and it would hold its value better. Uh, reason number three is you might have heard there has been like car shortages, raw material shortages. So even if you look on EVCPO, which is a super good resource if you're looking at uh, new or used uh, Teslas around the world, you would see there's very limited amount of models available. A lot of people are going to like Facebook Marketplace, um, Auto Trader, and things like that to uh, try to buy the car. So I sold mine on Auto Trader actually. So yeah, I just wanted to take advantage of that shortage, I guess, while I was still working from home and I didn't really need the car. So now I guess it's time to reveal the price I sold it for. Before I listed it up on Auto Trader, I did inquire with Tesla about the trading value and they gave me. Uh, this value here, which is around $40,000. Um, and keep in mind, I had 41,000 kilometers on it, I believe. Uh, and so that was, you know, not too great of a trading value. Uh, so I ended up putting up on 
auto trader for 57,000 and I ended up selling it for higher than that because I ended up including my zero G referral wheels in the price. So I ended up selling the car with the, with all the wheels. I got rid of the wheels, got rid of them with the winter tires as well. And I sold it for 58,800 which I considered pretty good. So I guess I got lucky maybe. Um, if you divide my depreciation by the 34 months that I had it, which is like around three years, uh, it came down to like 450 bucks a month, which was way better than if I leased the vehicle back then. But keep in mind, I did include like some extra perks to it. So like the zero G referral wheels with the Pilot Sports tires. Um, I had like winter tires with my original rims on it and a couple of like aftermarket upgrades. So yeah, that's pretty much my experience owning the Model 3 for the last three years. This was also a good opportunity to use up all my B-roll footage of the car in this video, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I don't wanna make this video too long, but pretty much that's the story. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section, I'll try to get back to you. Hope you found this video insightful. If you're looking at buying a Tesla, feel free to use my referral code, uh, click on the link in the description below. I'll also leave some useful resources in the video description below uh, if you guys want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day.